Hey guys, um, doing kind of a quick update and an unboxing because I have a boner about what I just got. Nothing special to you guys, but it kind of is to me. I'm just surprised it got here this fast. Um, first things first, the update is I went through with the trade. I traded my Glock 27 um, for a Ruger SR9C. Uh, it's the subcompact model. Oops, safety's on. It's the subcompact model. And uh, I traded my Glock 27 for this. Um, came with three mags and all that ammo right in here. Not that shit. Just this. And the the uh, crossbreed. Oh, you can see the little logo there. Crossbreed breed inside the waistband holster. And some cash. I got quite a bit of cash. Um, I didn't want to get rid of my Glock. I didn't have anything. Don't have anything against my Glock. It's just I am a pretty. Th you can see my wrists are fucking dainty as shit. So. I don't like 40 cal. It's just too snappy for me. Um, I had troubles keeping it on target at medium range, and I didn't. I didn't like that. If it's something that I'm going to carry with me, you know, and protect myself with, I want to make sure I'm not going to endanger other people with it. So I've decided that I don't want to have a 40 for my my carry, or at least not that one. I'm going to go down to a Glock 26, and with the trade that I made, I actually got enough cash to pretty much pay for a Glock 26. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy a Glock 26 here shortly, which is the 9mm. Glock 27 is a 40 cal, if you didn't know. And then this is a 9mm too, which I went to the range with it, and, you know, I shot pretty good at close range, and, you know, not too terrible at, at a distance too. So I'm pretty satisfied with the trade, and if I... If I want to, I can always trade this off or sell it or something if I need cash, and I'll still have my Glock. The other thing it, it allowed me to do was to consolidate my calibers. So I gave him all my, my 40 cal ammo that I had. And so, yeah, basically I'm down to 9mm for pistols. I'm not that uh, rich, so I don't need multiple calibers right now. I didn't, didn't, yeah, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm going to say right there. So, that's what that little update's about. Um, some of you guys gave me some advice on it, and I appreciated it, so I got... I, I obviously did the trade. It was a fair deal on both ends. He might have gotten a little bit better of the deal, but that's alright by me. Because I still got what I wanted. Today was a good day. Like, this week has been good. I got the Glock, I got the ammo. Uh, he did throw in a box of Winchester PDX-1s which are awesome. Um, I think that's what the government used to carry for a while, or used to use in their magazines that they were carrying, blah, blah, blah. And then I went to my coin store and stocked up on a little junk silver. Somebody had cleaned a bunch of Mercs, so I got a shit ton of really shiny Mercs. People are like, well, you shouldn't clean coins. I don't give a fuck if they're cleaned or not. I'm not using these for numismatic value. And the guy sure as shit at the coin store isn't going to put valuable um, mercs in his junk bin or his 90% bin. So I'm not looking to, you know, get high value out of these. I'm not planning on reselling them or having them graded or any of that crap. So I got three bucks in face value, 20 mercs, two quarters, and a Frankie. Frankie's from 1963. Frank. So that was that. So I had a pretty good day there. It was a little high premium wise, but not too bad. I think I paid $4 over spot, which isn't terrible for getting it right now, not having shipping or any of that bullshit. Uh, and that was including tax. So then the last thing I got, which I probably should block out my name and stuff, because I don't want you guys to know who I am. You guys are all a bunch of hoodlums. Goddamn hoodlums. So, let me see if I can find a pen here. I'm not prepared for this, obviously. Well, here, I'll just open it from the bottom up. Fuck you guys. 
put an order in. There's a uh, company out of Iowa. I live in Iowa. Um, called Controlled Chaos Arms. They do Cerakoting and, and um, gunsmithing. They also have a lot of tactical courses that they, they offer, basic and advanced. And they're kind of pricey, but they give really good courses. So I'm saving up to go through one of their courses. And every now and then on their website, they'll post good deals. And they posted a website that had the Aimpoint Pro spoilers. Aimpoint Pro um, red dot sight for 363 shipped. And so I was in the uh, market for an optic for my AR-15 and decided that that's a pretty good deal on a pretty good uh, on a pretty good optic. So I jumped on it. Aimpoint Pro, Patrol Rifle Optic. Specifically designed electronic red dot sight for law enforcement use. I'm not a law enforcement. So, you're getting to see what I get to see. I suppose this probably has all my information on it anyways. Oh, they hand wrote my name on here and said thanks. What a nice company. But the company I ordered from, I'll give them a shout out because they shipped. I ordered this on Tuesday and got it on Friday. That's pretty quick. AZ Armament. The website is azarmament.com. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of. But yeah. They got a ton of Magpul products on there. I think that's what they kind of specialize in is Magpul. So. Without further ado. Here is the uh, Aimpoint Pro. Oh I hope it has a sticker. I love stickers. I hope there's a sticker. There's no sticker in here. Fuck my life. I'm going to return it because it doesn't have a sticker, guys. JK. But this is the Aimpoint Pro. I will absolutely do a review after I get it installed and and uh, play with it for a little bit. So, Ooh, those are spring-loaded. Bang. Nice. I'm excited. This thing looks awesome. So, yeah. Keep tuned in if you want to see my review of this. Hopefully in the next few weeks I'll get to take it out to the range. I'm moving and it's, you know, a hectic time to make videos and go to the range. So I'll do my best to get get my uh, videos up. But yeah, Aimpoint Pro, uh, just over 2 ounces in silver, Ruger SR9C, all in one week. It's like Christmas in July! Anyways, appreciate you guys sticking around with me for eight minutes of me just gloating about what I got. <laughs> so, thanks guys.